What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video, and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2, here to talk about the brand new axe released in the 2021 Christmas event in Lumber Tycoon 2. Today's video is going to be formatted a bit differently. I'm trying things out for future videos to see how things go. So this video is going to be entirely timestamped, so you'll be able to navigate in between different parts of the video uh, just by sliding your cursor along the red bar at the bottom of the video player but without further ado we are going to be covering this present right here so this present here is the murky gift it is selling right now at wood or us for twenty nine thousand dollars in the game but it is probably not going to be in stores much longer even perhaps by the time you watch this video it is not in the store anymore because it was went it was only meant for the 2021 Christmas event, uh, meaning you have to get this while you can or else you'll have to buy it from another player if it is not in the store, which chances are it won't be. But once you have this present here, you can go ahead, open it up and you have the ax. And the axe is unboxed, or actually unwrapped into this really cool looking granite textured box. I really love it. It's the sim uh, same texture as the countertops in the game. And as you can see, there's a little um, icon of the axe you can expect when you open it. And then, of course, when you open it, you get the overgrown axe, which is shown in my hand. And what makes this axe better than all of the other axes is that it can chop uh, a specific wood in the swamp. We'll find out in just a bit which wood, but it can chop that specific wood a whole lot better. If we go ahead and test it out on a regular tree, it has a decent chop damage. Um, like, yeah, it has a decent chop damage and then it also a decent chop rate. However, it does not really compare to the mini axe, which literally in one swing can destroy this oak tree. But we're not here to talk about the all well, we are here to talk about the axe, but we're also going to be heading to the swamp to go ahead and test it out. And we are going to go ahead and give you a brief guide on how to get to the swamp. But before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the present in What Are Us just in case people claim this video is fake. There is the present right there in the store along with all of the other presents from the 2021 Christmas event, which will most likely be out of stores any day now. But to get to the swamp, there are several ways. We're going just to take the easiest way, which most players know, and it's pretty easy. It just takes a bit longer. But you want to go ahead, you want to go over to the bridge toll booth right here talk to the bridge man lower it for $100 there we go and then we can go ahead wait for it to lower and then follow the road so like I said just follow this road right here when it forks you don't want to go right because that takes you to the stores but we're going to follow it all the way until it comes to a dead end and we're just going to keep going straight off road and keep going yeah if you keep going straight alongside this mountain wall right here you'll come across another dead end where you'll go ahead and take a sharp left and you'll come across a ledge which you can easily get well not easily get up but you want to go ahead and chop a tree down or you can get a long plank or do the plank glitch to fly i'm just showing what most people might be familiar with which is just chopping down a tree which is exactly what we are going to do with our mini axe and once the tree is chopped down, you want to go ahead and do a giga throw, which is what I call it. You just basically flick your camera like this and the tree moves a lot because normally you won't be able to carry this tree. Look how heavy it is. As you can see, you can hardly carry it, but doing the camera flick, it will go a lot further and you want to go ahead and try to get it towards that ledge. Um, sometimes there are trees growing there, which makes it a lot easier. However, this is the closest tree to the ledge, but we're just going to go ahead, keep doing the flick until we get there. And just like that, the tree is uh, positioned so that we can hop up here. And now it's just a long walk all the way up to the swamp. And as I mentioned earlier, there is um, another way. It's another well-known way to get to the swamp where you can actually bring a car with you. Um, I'll have a video link to that in the description below or a link to a video in the description below. I, I swapped those words around. But yeah, there will be a link in the description below that will show you that video as well, um, where you can basically take a car here going a different way, which I find a lot more fun, to be honest. But here we are at the swamp after taking about a one to two minute walk from our car. And now let's go ahead and test the now or not, uh, excuse me, the overgrown ax out on the two different trees that grow in the swamp. First off, we have this tree here, and once we chop it open, I'll see what it is. Uh, but if we go ahead and give it a chop, 
And I'm assuming this tree here, this is probably gold wood. I'm assuming this is probably not going to tr be the tree that has the special buff. As you can see, yeah, gold wood right here. Let's go ahead and chop some. I believe this is zombie wood. I know if I miss or if I say this is the wrong wood, um, people never stop letting me know in the comment section. But let's go ahead. And oh my goodness, look at that. That is so much more powerful compared to the gold wood we just chopped. Right here is green wood. You can tell it apart by, um, well, the fact it has leaves and then just the way it grows. Um, the gold wood is a bit taller. But this is so cool because you can now go ahead and that's one chop. And then here's a chop from the many axe and the many axe, albeit it does do a lot more damage. It might be slightly slower. So let's go ahead and we're not going to do like a scientific study, but I mean, just from chopping this axe, the overgrown axe is much faster, does slightly less damage than the many axe. However, it is the best axe for harvesting greenwood slash zombie wood from the swamp. I feel like that ended too quickly, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to do another comparison on the gold wood, just to see um, how much damage it does. So that's the overgrown axe, and here you have the many axe, and the many axe actually does about double the damage, more or less maybe, uh, but this does um, have a faster chop speed, like that, and let's go ahead and compare the chops. Many axe is probably going to be worse for this tree as well because it is much slower and it does larger amounts of damage each time. But at the same time, you have that really long cooldown, which makes it a lot longer to chop. So I was just looking around and I actually do think, um, according from other sources, that this the axe, the overgrown axe, excuse me, does better damage to goldwood as well. So it works well for both of these trees, uh, though I believe um, the rates are, huh, let's see. I don't know. I, th I think this axe. OK, I take back what I said earlier. This axe definitely does work better for both of the trees than using a normal axe. It's just that um, the green wood I was chopping uh, does have like less damage resistance, you could say. Uh, so when you chop it, it does take fewer chops. But with uh, gold wood, that does take more chops. But at the same time, using this axe is a whole lot better. So that is it for today's video, everyone. If you did like it, consider pressing the like button or even subscribing. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, which will be an awesome milestone once we reach it. However, we're about like 13,000, like 300 subscribers short, but one day we will hit it. Also, this is a beautiful sunrise here in the Lumberland, but yeah. Make sure you do subscribe to stay up to date with all Lumber Tycoon 2 things. Also, we do have a Discord server where we might be hosting a building competition soon where you can actually win some Lumber money and Lumber items. Um, we also do have private server links for Lumber Tycoon 2 servers that you are free to use whenever and however you would like except for exploits. No exploits in them. Uh, please. <laughs> but other than that, uh, there's a link to that in the description below as well. Before I do end today's video, I do a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members because one of their perks is a shout out every single video. So, shout outs go out to Bubba1025, Certified JB, Finbar, Infurious, Jolly Santa Smart, King Ryan, Luxembourg Lover, Nazab, Pro Gamer Doggo, Nick is Shifty, Seraph, Wall203, WSL Plays, Damon McMahone, Seraph, The ISS, and there is a new channel member as well. I will get your name added to the list by next video. So thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas as well. And I look forward to the new year. Goodbye.